All right, here we go. Let's get into our movement prep and mobility flow for the day. We're gonna start off with 10 squats. You're gonna get your heels about shoulder width apart. You're gonna pull your arches up and your feet, hands away from your body. Send your butt back and pause at the bottom a little bit, okay? So a little bit of weight in your heels, but also on the forefoot. We call that a tripod foot. You can see my knees are kind of pushed out towards the outside of my feet. We never wanna see our knee collapse inside a vertical. So let's just go through about five more reps here. Okay, now we're gonna hip hinge. I'm gonna keep an inward curve to my low back. I'm gonna trace my hands down my thigh. I'm trying to create tension in my hamstrings. Again, you'll notice that my shins stay vertical. So I'm not squatting. I'm just doing a bow, okay? Again, trying to create tension. At the bottom, I'm pushing my knees away from each other. Again, strong inward curve, no rounding, so keep that inward curve. Keep those knees pushed back a little bit. One more rep here. Awesome, okay, let's go into a reverse lunge. I'm gonna step back, kiss my knee to the ground. I want this shin slightly forward, and I'm driving up off that foot, okay? So step back, kiss your knee to the ground. Don't let your knee collapse in. You should be able to see your toes or the inside of your knee. One more, good. From the front, I'm stepping back. Again, I can see my toes on the inside of my knee. Front leg's doing most of the work here. Okay, let's take that into a single leg RDL. I'm gonna put my hands on my hips, drive my heel back. That's gonna push my chest down. My back foot is pointed straight down. This knee is out towards my pinky toe, okay? There's one, we're gonna do three in a row. Try not to turn up, keep, keep your pelvis turned down. Two, and be patient with your chest. Exaggerate that back heel going up. Don't worry about how low your chest gets. There's three, we're gonna switch sides. Again, my back foot moves first. I'm getting long. There's one. Two. And three. Okay, let's squat down, grab your ankles. We're just gonna rock back and forth, okay? Just kind of getting those ankles warmed up, side to side. You can push your knees out with your elbows. All right, no right or wrong here. Let your back relax, this should feel fairly good. So you're just rocking from your heel to your foot, side to side, rotating, whatever you feel like you need here. Okay, from there, let's take our right hand. Let's reach up. Hold that. I'm pointing my thumb backwards. Okay, I'm trying to lock my elbow out. I'm back down. Other side. Lead with your thumb. One more time each side. Use that bottom hand to kind of anchor yourself. Some counter pressure. Okay, now both hands up. And let's stand, okay? Overhead squats, do three. Elbows are locked out, thumbs are pointed backwards. Try to keep your heels on the ground, okay? Don't let those hands drift forward. One more rep. Three, awesome, okay. Back down to the squat, grab your ankle, and I'm gonna rotate, you're gonna look at your hand. All right, so now we're rotating. I'm looking at my palm, trying to get my arm vertical, okay? Other side, grab. Look at your palm, rotate up. And back down, okay. Let's get a really wide stance here, okay. I'm gonna squat into one hip. My chest is coming really far forward. My trail leg, my foot is flat, my knee is locked out. My hips are back, my chest is forward. I'm gonna push my butt back. I'm gonna lock out my knee, push my pinky toe to the ground. All right, you notice I didn't come up. I'm kind of staying low on this one. Staying low, I can get ducking under a fence. Side to side here a few times. In my heel here, not my toe. Locked out completely, foot is flat. Back to the other side again. 
Okay, other side. Okay, now we're gonna grab this ankle. Again, look at your palm, follow it to the sky. And down. Push your hips back again. Grab your ankle, look at your palm, follow it to the sky. Okay, and down. And stand. We're gonna add a little speed to our lunge now. So we're gonna go forward, push ourselves back. Put your toes to the ground, push yourself back. Put your toes or the balls of your feet into the ground, push back. Two, three, four. Like you're falling forward and you push yourself back. Five. From the side, again, the ball of my foot is going into the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do a similar version going side to side. Big step to the right. Sink down into that hip, push yourself back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's get our shoulders warmed up a little bit, okay? Shoulder circles, palms going forward. I'm gonna monitor my ribs so I don't move too much of my trunk. Palm goes forward, I'm gonna hit resistance. I'm gonna turn my hand all the way up and around and get my palm up behind me. And then I keep rotating. So now the butt of my hand is towards the camera. Sending my thumb back behind me, rotate up and around and down. Again, palm forward, okay? So let's try it one more time. Palm up, hit that resistance. Work around it, get your palm to the sky back here. All right, keep rotating. Pinky's in the front. Thumb goes back, hits that resistance. Work around your resistance. And down, let's try the other side, okay? Palm, lead with it. Hit that resistance. Up and around, palm to the sky. And down, lead with the thumb. Hit resistance, up and around and down. One more time, hit resistance, work around. Call these shoulder circles or shoulder cars. Lead with your thumb going back and around. Awesome, okay, so now we're gonna work on shoulder extension. So palms are backwards, pinch your shoulder blades back. It's a great postural exercise. And then reach your hands to the sky, okay? This is a great warm up if you're gonna do any push ups or pressing. And back down, okay? Again, retract and reach. Don't let your shoulder blades get pushed forward. You're trying to get high and back, okay? Awesome. Okay, we're gonna do some hip circles now, okay? Similar to the shoulder circle, but at the hip. One leg is down. You're gonna bring your toe to your shin on one lip. Up nice and high. Hit that end point. Get out to the side with your knee. Bring that heel up and around. Back under control and down. Same leg now, bend the knee, kick your foot back. Now bring your shin parallel to the ground, back to that start position. I'm trying not to move my trunk too much, okay? Other side now, toe to shin, knee to chest, knee to the side. Bring that heel up and around and back down. Good, bend that same knee, kick back first, bring that shin parallel to the ground, back to that starting position, and down. All right, cool. Okay, so let's hop a little bit, okay? So we're gonna go side to side, double leg, over and back 20 times. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, front to back 20 times. Okay, single leg, 10 times, side to side. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. That's how I tell them at 20. Here we go. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Front to back, 20 times.
the way. Okay, squat jumps, landing soft. I don't care how high you go, I want you to get deep into your squat, narrow stance. I'm gonna squat, jump up. 10 of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Ten jumping split lunges and we're done. Touch your knee to the ground if you can. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Okay, that's the end of our movement prep mobility flow. Hope you enjoyed.